Hey, what up guys, this is Anthony and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Facebook Pixel on your uh, Shopify store. I'll also show you a couple tricks uh, that you can use if you're using any other platform like BigCommerce or um, any other e-commerce platform. Uh, so I'm logged in my business uh, account and I just need to grab the Pixel ID right there. So I'm going to copy that, move over to Shopify, and then under Online Store and Preferences, there is this section where you can paste your Facebook uh, Pixel ID. Then you just save that. Now, each time a page is going to load on your store, uh, Facebook will receive a hit from that code and will be able to gather some information. Uh, and this is very useful because you can create a custom conversion. So what this means is, for example, each time someone is going to buy product on your store, they will visit a URL that will contain thank you, right? This is the confirmation page. And you can uh, set that as a purchase. Then you create that custom conversion. You can just call it purchase, for example. All right, you create that. And now Facebook is going to trigger um, custom conversion each time someone visited that uh, confirmation page. So this is very useful to know exactly um, which ads drove people to actually buy on your website. Now, Facebook also has uh, something called events. So let's go into the pixel and let's look at the code. So what we just did by pasting the pixel ID in the Shopify store is basically putting that code on the header of every page and every time a page is going to load, Facebook is going to receive uh, information from this code. And so you see here there is the pixel ID and then underneath there is an event uh, called page view. And this uh, will tell Facebook that a page is being loaded. Um, and then we're using that with the custom conversion by uh, using the URL where, where the page view occurred, right? Now, you could also look at something called events. And the events is um, something that's triggered in two different ways, either uh, on a page load or uh, when something happens, like someone clicks on a button, or there's all sorts of customization that you may want to look at in the future. But um, let's say we would want to track the purchase with an event instead of using the URL. We could just look at how to do that here. So basically, it's just an additional piece of code. You know, that's an event. And instead of um, sending the, the value page view, we're sending the value purchase. So we can copy that too. I'm going to close that. And then if you go back to Shopify, uh, you can go under settings right there check out and in this section you're actually able to add some additional uh, pieces of code uh, so it's very useful for adwords conversions and uh, maybe any other third party you may use for advertising but you can also use it to paste that and now when the confirmation page is going to load um, the pixel is going to fire one time um, thanks to the pixel ID we already set up in the store. And then this code is going to fire as well, just right after. And that's how we Facebook will know there was a purchase. So you don't want to use uh, both a custom conversion and this. You want to use uh, one of these two solutions. Now, in this particular situation, it doesn't really matter because we're tracking the same. We're just tracking a purchase. So you may want to go with the first uh, uh, setup that I showed you, but uh, as you go, maybe you want to track people who click on particular buttons, etc. And um, knowing how to use these events is going to be uh, very helpful. Now, if you want some flexibility around that, I would I would strongly encourage you to uh, use a Google Tag Manager. And um, I have other videos that you can find uh, where I show you how to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. All right, so that's pretty much it for uh, for this. Um, you can also, I'm not gonna save that because we already did a, created a custom conversion in Facebook. Now, something you can do though is when you go back to your sections, 
where we actually uh, pasted the Facebook pixel ID. You can see there's the Google Analytics account also, which you probably have already, but if you don't, you should go to your Google Analytics account under the tracking info, tracking code, and you should grab this code and you should go back to your store and you should paste it here. All right, you can see it here, save that, and that way you can also track um, anything related to traffic on your website in general. All right, I hope it helps, and uh, if you have a question, feel free to leave it another video. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye-bye.